What's going on, people? This is Tashir Rissay. There's a lot of people like myself in the world, those who use machine along with Ableton Live. Today, I'm going to show you how to track out a song from machine into Ableton Live. Now, I know everybody doesn't use Ableton, but the process to do this is pretty much the same for all recording programs. So if you don't use Ableton, you should still be able to benefit from watching this video. I'm going to keep it very simple today. I'm going to track out the groups instead of the individual sounds. But the process is pretty much the same, except for you go to sound and you go to each individual sound and set the output. Since I only have three groups, I'm going to do each group that I have. In order to get to the output, you have to cut off the modules. And when you get to this page where you see source, groove, macro, and output, go to the output section. Down here where it says main output, now it's set to master. For some reason, you can't use the first output in Ableton when you're using machine. So you just start at number two. So I'm in group A. I'm going to go to output two. E. Turn that off. Go to output. Go to three. F. Modules off. Output. And set that to four. Now, next thing you want to do, since I have three groups, I'm going to set up three audio tracks in Ableton. And I'm using control T to set up the audio tracks. Now you want to set the audio from machine, which is on track one in Ableton. Set that. Next, down here where it says post mixer, go to that drop down. And remember, group A is output two. Group E, output three, and group F is output four. The next thing you want to do is make sure you're getting audio from machine into Ableton. In order to do that, set the monitor to N. The next thing you want to do is arm all the tracks to record. And to do this, you want to do multiple tracks. You hold down control while you arm each track. Now it seems like we got sound. And I'm gonna set the input, take that down just a little bit. Flip over to arrangement view and open these up. And at this point, everything is set up. All you have to do is arm the program and hit play. All right, looks good. Let's see if it sounds good. Go back to auto and play. The Unstoppable Josh Urusay. That's it, folks. It's a very simple process. Just make sure you go through all the steps, set up everything properly, and you should have no problems. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share it. Subscribe to the channel and visit the website at machineproducer.com.